This is breaking news on CBSN Minnesota. I'm Mike Augustinak with CBSN Minnesota. In just a few minutes, NASA's latest rover named Perseverance will land on Mars. We're bringing it to you live here. Here's a live look from Mission Control at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab in California. Perseverance launched 203 days ago and has traveled nearly 300 million miles during that time to make it to this point where it's just entering Mars's atmosphere. Uh, what we're looking at here is a NASA animation of how things are playing out because we don't have live pictures from the Perseverance uh, rover or from the descent engine that's going to drop it onto Mars's surface. Uh, we will get pictures coming up uh, probably within the next few hours the first ones will arrive but for now we're relying on a, a detailed stream of data coming from that rover uh, to us here on earth and using that to sort of piece together where it is and what it's doing coming up in just the next 60 seconds we expect that uh, the entire spacecraft will deploy a 70 foot parachute that should open at 2:52 p.m. Central Time, and at that point, the rover will be going 940 miles an hour or so. Now, of course, all of this has actually already happened. It takes over 11 minutes for the data from the uh, spacecraft traveling at the speed of light to make it from Mars orbit to us here on Earth. So something has already happened up there, but we're waiting as the data comes back in real time to know if it was a successful touchdown or not. Uh, the spacecraft itself launched on July 30th, 2020 uh, from Cape Canaveral in Florida. And again, it spent the last 203 days in transit toward Mars. Uh, when this whole process started about uh, 20 minutes ago, as it reached uh, the top of the Martian atmosphere, the spacecraft was going about 12,000 miles an hour. And the atmosphere itself has slowed the spacecraft to about 940 miles an hour or so. And now that we've hit 2.52 p.m., that 70-foot parachute has likely opened, slowing eventually in the next two minutes that spacecraft from 940 miles an hour to about, uh, well, eventually about 190 miles an hour. significant deceleration in the velocity. Our current velocity is 440 meters per second at an altitude of about 12 kilometers from the surface of Mars. So that's a good sign. Uh, if you heard that telemetry, the uh, data stream indicates that the parachute is open. Perseverance has uh, now slowed to subsonic speeds and the heat shield has been separated. This allows both the radar and the cameras to get their first look at the surface. Current velocity is 145 meters per second at an altitude of about 10 kilom nine and a half kilometers above the surface. So as that radar locks on to the, uh, the surface of Mars, that will help the booster rockets that will slow this spacecraft from its current speed down to that uh, 190 miles an hour and then eventually 1.7 miles an hour as it gets closer and closer to the surface. Uh, the next sort of um, landmark here comes in 30 seconds when the back shell of this whole spacecraft will separate from the actual rover and we'll start to see those engines fire and slow that descent rate. Eventually, at about 25 feet above the surface of Mars, a, what they're calling a sky crane will drop the actual rover 25 feet down to the surface of Mars while the descent stage lifts back off again and flies away. And subsequently, the priming of the landing engines. Our current velocity is about 90 meters per second at an altitude of 4.2 kilometers. Only 50% of all the attempted Mars landings by any space, space agency worldwide have actually been successful. So this is only a 50-50 proposition, but so far things seem to be going quite well. Again, touchdown coming up now in less than uh, 40 seconds. The landing zone is the Yezero Crater. 83 meters per second at about 2.6 kilometers from the surface of Mars. We have confirmation that the back shell has separated. We are currently performing the divert maneuver. Current velocity is about 75 meters per second at an altitude of about a kilometer off the surface of Mars. TRN safety, bravo. We have completed our terrain relative navigation. Current speed is about 30 meters per second, altitude of about 300 meters off the surface.
of ours. SDS level. So that's about 75 miles constant an hour. 104. Constant velocity accordion, altitude error. We have started our constant velocity accordion, which means we are conducting the sky crane, about to conduct the sky crane maneuver. We've lost direct to earth tones. Throttle down. Sky crane maneuver has started. So the sky crane is where that uh, nylon rope About will actually meters. drop the rover down to the surface of Mars, which sounds pretty sci-fi, but is what's actually happening. We're getting signals from M MRO. Remy stable. So the MRO is the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Is good. It's orbiting Mars, Touch receiving. confirmed. Perseverance safely wow. on the surface of Mars. Ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. Unbelievable. The uh, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter was circling Mars, receiving the, the telemetry, the data stream from the orbiter as it was dropping down to the surface, and uh, we got confirmation pretty smoothly that this thing is down. Now again, uh, there's 19 cameras on Perseverance, and in just the next couple of hours, some very low-res images from the two hazard cams, the ones that are located on the front and the back of the Perseverance rover, and sort of help to keep it uh, from running into obstacles. We'll get a very low-res version of of what those see sent to us in the next few hours. Then sometime within the next 24 hours, we'll end up seeing what NASA calls a quarter resolution view. So a little higher res view and then a full res view from those cameras will come and show us exactly where this uh, rover landed in high resolution as we head through the weekend. The landing zone was uh, sort of on an area that is similar to Lake Tahoe. So about a 28 foot, di I'm sorry, a 28 mile diameter former lake bed where a river delta has flown in, uh, flows into it. So the reason they chose this landing area is because it's the most likely spot given visually at some point the presence of water that we might find signs of life. In addition to the actual cameras, there are some sensors on board that will start to sort of probe the composition of the Martian soil around the rover and determine whether or not there are any molecules present that would indicate past life. Eventually, we are going to see a, uh, a drill try to collect rock and dust samples that will then be packaged and sort of stored on Mars while the European Space Agency and NASA figure out over the next couple of decades how to send another mission back to pick up those samples and bring them directly back to Earth for analysis. It's similar in a way to the OSIRIS-REx uh, mission that happened and uh, sampled an asteroid toward the end of 2020, except this is a much longer time frame. And uh, it's going to take a, at least until 2031 to get this Martian soil sample back. So again, Perseverance rover has successfully landed on Mars. They'll do some checkouts over the next uh, several weeks, and we'll get our first view that we can hopefully share with you, perhaps coming up even on WCCO News at 10 o'clock tonight, if not certainly tomorrow. We will get you back to regular CBSN programming right now, and we'll have more on the landing tonight on WCCO 4 News at 5.